Hello everybody, this is Max Farrell from DexEffectsMarkets.com and we're on our Dex Atomic series. And in this series, we're going to talk about the prices that are over at Nadex. Now, there are four pricing structures over at Nadex. The four are as follows. Indicative, market price or bid offer, strike price, and fees. Let's have a look at the indicative. But before we do, I want to kind of show, tell you what a little bit what the indicative is. On Nadex, the price quotes are live, but rather than tracking only the most recent printed trade, Nadex uses a continuously updating average of the most recent prices. That means it groups them all together and it creates an average over them. This price is called the indicative price or underlying indicative price. Since it is designed to accurately indicate the current market price in a way that is useful for basically all traders. It also prevents whiplashing and price structuring. The calculation is the same one Nadex uses to calculate the expiration price, which is compared to the strike price, but it's done on an ongoing basis during the contract. Now, the bid-ask spread, which I'll show you here in a minute as well, is the difference between the bid-ask spread. It's called the bid-offer offer spread, right? So the difference between the bid and the ask, or the bid and the offer, is the bid-offer spread. And that bid-offer spread um, is is the offer price. So remember the rule, buy low, sell high, right? That's what we're kind of doing, right? Buyers want to pay the lowest price they can, so buyers bid low. Sellers want to get the highest price they can, so they can sell high and hide the price. Now, the market order prices are based on the bid ask spread. So when you place an order uh, on a buy or sell, you'll agree to pay that price uh, that the other, the other side wants in exchange for getting filled as soon as possible. Buyers pay the price the seller offering the offer, um, and so on. So sellers will usually come down to whatever the current best bid is, and sellers will sell at that bid. Now, because the bid has spread, you may find yourself slightly in the red when you first the order is filled because there's the difference between the two sides. This reflects the initial gap between the price. Now, Nadex on the market orders have protection against slippage, so you only get filled at or near the price you expected. Now, in this series, we're going to be using just the binaries, the Forex binaries, because there, there are other prices and other systems on, on Nadex, such as indice binaries, uh, indice call spreads, all that kind of stuff. There's even um, uh, touch brackets and five-minute binaries. There's all these, and even invent binaries. There's all these wonderful tools that they have, but we are focused just on using one tool. We're keeping it very simple. So here's the indicative price that we originally referred to, the indicative price. And this is what we refer to as a derivative, right? So the derivative for the Forex exchange of the market uh, takes those averages and prints them out here. Now, this is usually between 1.2 to 1.7 pips higher than the actual Forex market. So I always just keep that in mind. I never really try to convert that in my head. I just, I just know that the indicative price here is going to be a little bit different than what you see on our charts um, or even any Forex spot, spot Forex charts, okay? The <clears throat> next process to look at is under the bid offer. So here's the price for if you wanted to buy the sell and here's the price if you were going to buy the buy side, okay? The bid size means how many contracts are available for each one of these. Now, when you enter into a contract, which we'll talk about here in a minute, the, it has to equal to $100. So if I'm buying a sell for it to be under this particular price, which we'll talk about the market price, then, you know, the other side is going to have the derivative of, or the exchange of what that 100 is. So about $12.50 depending, okay? So the next price we want to look at is the strike price, which is over here. And this is really about a statement. And I'll explain that more here in just a second. So the last system of fees, and again, those will be explained in a minute all right but that's where basically everything is at we have the indicative price the bid offer right and if you see the difference 94 dollars or um like I, i'm floating in right here at the top of the hour so i'm not really getting a lot see 93 so about six dollars difference so if i were to click on to this it'd be immediately in the red for six dollars until it expired right so that's that's what it really comes down to is seeing the the difference between the prices now the contracts just all got pulled because it's getting down to the wire. The last 30 seconds, usually on an expiry, uh, nobody really leaves anything. If they do, these are probably usually buyers or inexperienced traders or people on demo just messing around. So um, on your live system, you'll see that you might get quite a few uh, that are there, it looks like, right? Um, but if we go back to this uh, a different expiry time, you'll see this. So 
The difference between the 21 and the 27 is about $6. And so if I were to buy into this one, you would immediately see uh, the whole thing laid out. And we'll teach you how to read this ticket uh, here in future videos. Now the Sprite price that I showed you of the option or binary is comprised against the current market price. Now that's the indicative price, but it's it's created as a as the current price that the market makers and or another trader is offering at the time. The common terms in the money and out of the money refer to the relative positions of the strike price, which again, I'll go over here in just a second, and the price of the underlying market. In the money means the market is above the strike price. Out of the money means that the market is below the strike price. If the market price is above the binary option strike price, the buyer gets the full $100. So if the, if the buyer side, if it's above that price, they'll get the payout. If the market is below the strike price, the seller gets the payout of the $100, depending on the void of what they bought it for. If they bought it for 25 for profit, then they would win $25, okay? Thus, the buyer wants the binary option to be in the money at expiration with the market above the strike price. So the binary will return to full value of $100 to the buyer. The yes or no question in, at, or out of the money is next. Every binary is based on that question. Is it above or is it below? Is it a win or is it a loss? And the question comes down to the strike itself is the, is the statement. If we go back and look over at Nadex, it'll have a statement just like this. The Euro USD at 1.0870 will be above this number at 9 p.m. expiry. And here's a statement here for the Audi USD. Audi USD greater than 66.10 at 10 p.m. So if the person comes in and does a buy at this time and it is above 65.98, they win the other side of this $28. See, they're only risking $28 to be on the buy side. So they would actually win $72. Now, remember what I said in a previous video, that the pricing structures for the pairs inside the bid offer spread area may be a little bit different on demo compared to live. And as we see here, close to the top of the hour, this 6602 is sitting at $10, while the 66 over two over here is only sitting at eight. So you might have more opportunity to get into one trade over another. Sometimes it's not always as clear cut, like Nadex is holding back money and all that kind of stuff. This is actually a, a process that there's more liquidity sometimes in the demo side than there is on the live side, okay? So it's just a matter of trusting the system and trusting the process works. Now, again, the statement comes down to a particular time and a price. If you're on the offer side, then you say that the statement's gonna be true. And if you're on the sell side or the false side, that the statement's not gonna be true, you take a bid. Now, if you win uh, in the fees side, this is where the fees come in. So you would actually get the money if you won. So if you win, $1 gets taken from your trade as soon as you enter the trade. And then $1 when you exit the trade. But if you lose on your side, you only have to pay the dollar when entering the trade. You don't pay the other dollar uh, once the trade has expired. And this is smart for them to do. It's It just seems a little bit fairer. Well, I know this may seem a little bit confusing, but once you get in, you'll really see the simplistic value of using the binaries, of either getting a buy or a sell. And it, it really correlates with our arrows on the buy side or the sell side of the process. And you will see direct evidence of this being done every single time and how we see where that uh, value is. And the better that we can pick dynamic structure, the more we can make our statements truer, okay? Whether it's on the sell side or the buy side. I'm Max, this is Dex. We'll see you next time. And as always, trade well.